Steve Hackett talks about fitness and staying young while you're getting old. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Under a Mediterranean Sky is a brand new album. There'll be links in the description where you can pick up the album right now on Steve Hackett's website. Here's our chat with Steve Hackett. How does Steve Hackett stay in shape? How do I stay in shape? Well, you know, I used to do a ton of exercise at one time. And in recent times, yeah, I walk around the house. I go for a walk. That's what I do. I used to go running. I used to go swimming. I used to be a gymnast. I did all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's staying in shape. I don't smoke. Um, I very rarely drink. Um, I had a small sherry tonight, you know, tiny little thing, and I hadn't had anything for weeks and weeks and weeks. And when I do have alcohol, which is quite rare these days, I drink lots of water with it, you know. It's the old Greek idea. Wash it down with water, easier on the, uh, easier on the insides. Looking back at that album, and I revisited it again this morning, and I've heard that album more than any other Genesis album, but it's amazing how it has stood the test of time. It still sounds amazing. Yeah, it's, it's a very um, um, anomalous kind of album. Um, I don't think there are any other albums like it from any other band. Um, I think a band would be hard pushed to say, you know, well, let's make an album like this. Yeah. Um, because it's it's so characterful isn't it you know Pete's vocals are very much an actor's approach to singing so there's a German word Sprechstimme which means um, almost like sung speech where you're talking it uh, like Rex Harrison in My Fair Lady yeah. it's that way and, and in a way it's part of Jim Morrison's approach to, to singing as well as, as he did so well you know where it's low and intoning like a bell. So these are different vocal approaches. And when Pete kicked it off, the whole album, he said, well, I had an idea of Scottish plain song. So he said, if I sing it entirely on my own, the opening lines, then it grows. And um, it's, it's, you know, it's very characterful. It, it, it's very Peter Gabriel. Um, and one of his best contributions, I, I think, l yeah. lyrically, the wordplay, I can see why it might have appealed to uh, to John Lennon. Uh, were you, uh, there was no asking you about the Genesis reunion, right? That was always going to be a, a, the trio, the, the, the latest reunion, right? I think that, yeah, I think there hasn't been a serious conversation about this, um, about putting together the team of 71 to 75. Um, since 2005 so uh, no I haven't been approached about that and my my British tour was already on sale for two or three months before that so and they were going to be playing the British Isles at the same time so I don't think there was any thought at that time that um, that uh, they were going to give me a call to uh, uh, to do that so um, yes of course I'm always open to that but I think realistically uh, I figure that they'll by the time they manage to get their cancelled shows, you know, reinstated, uh, they'll be prioritising the 80s version. I'll be celebrating the 70s version. Under a Mediterranean Skies, a brand new album from Steve Hackett. You can order it. The links are in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music.